And let's not pretend before they took this picture, they didn't set it all up right. There'll be angles, there'll be lighting. It's all the things you see on Instagram all of the time. But if he doesn't post a picture of him looking like a giant, it's not going to get as much traction. And the idea of this photo is so it serves as a promotional tool. Time in the middle of the ball. A hole here. Thank you for joining me as always. Quick bit of housekeeping before we get going. New stock coming to simonmiller.bigcartel.com. Not only a big restock, but also some brand new t shirts. One of which may be the Fitness Palace of Love, and the other may be dedicated to Gerald, the fitness mascot. Everybody asked me very nicely, so I'm currently getting it sorted. I would say give it a week or so and it will start to pop up. Thank you as always for your support. And I suppose today is going to be the end of our Chris Hemsworth Thor 4 journey. I mean, that's not true at all. When that movie comes out, the amount of content that they are going to be pumping out, they go, look at Chris Hemsworth body. Look at Chris Hemsworth body. Look at Chris Hemsworth body. And I will use my eyes and I will look at it. So the picture in question is this one here. Here is Chris Hemsworth on the final day of shooting Thor 4 with, uh, I can never pronounce uh, the director's name. It's like Taki Watiti, but he's an absolute genius of a human being. And everyone's going crazy about it. It was trending on Twitter. I'm sure a bunch of other fitness people are going to, are going to, uh, are going to talk about it. And why wouldn't they? Can I zoom in? I can zoom in. Well, not very well, though. If you look at that, he looks like an absolute beast. Okay? We're going to talk about it in one second. If somebody wanted to go, he could look like he's a step on a bodybuilding stage, you go, yeah, I can understand where you're coming from. Now, the big conversation is going to be PEDs. What did he take? What did he didn't take? And the truth of the matter is, we're never going to know. But when you do look at Hollywood and the acting world, you have to assume that most people that are not only trying to get in this kind of shape, who have to stay in this kind of shape throughout the whole filming process, they're still going to be taking something. And let's be completely honest. Let's hold our hands up and be transparent. Somebody knocked on my door right now and said, Simon, I will monitor your blood work and your health every single day and I'll find exactly the right amount of stuff you can put in you and you essentially become a superhuman I'll be like man I'd whip my trousers off and I'd stick my ass out and go you prod that needle wherever you need to prod it of course you would do it let's not pretend otherwise and some people are doing it now it's just not my bag because I already have a bunch of health issues <laughs> I've just dropped down dead and nobody wants to look big in a box not true some people do the thing I actually thought was more interesting and more intriguing is when you get to the caption he says that's a wrap on Thor Love and Thunder it's awesome also National Don't Flex Day, so I thought this super relaxed photo was appropriate. The film is going to be batshit crazy, off the wall funny, and might also pull at the heartstrings. Lots of love, lots of thunder. Thank you to all the cast and crew who made this another incredible Marvel journey. So let's rewind back to the early part where he says it's also National Don't Flex Day, so I thought this super relaxed photo was appropriate. So he's being sarcastic, he's being tongue-in-cheek, he's being facetious, because you can tell simply by his stance and the way that his lats are clearly pushing into his sides, he's flexing like like a madman. And let's not pretend before they took this picture, they didn't set it all up right. There'll be angles, there'll be lighting. It's all the things you see on Instagram all of the time. But if he doesn't post a picture of him looking like a giant, it's not going to get as much traction. And the idea of this photo is so it serves as a promotional tool. And there's nothing wrong with that. And it's absolutely cool, especially because, yeah, in that caption, Chris Hemsworth has talked about it. He has said, I am flexing like a mother hubbard here. So, you know, take this with a grain of salt. And that's what you need to do with all physiques when it comes to the internet, when it comes to Instagram, when you're scrolling through and you see someone who apparently is able to walk around at 4% body fat, just take a moment and remind yourself this has been set up to look that way. And if you looked at this person when they first got up in the morning, they probably look completely different. Not saying they look in terrible shape. I'm sure they look absolutely badass. But no one is walking around looking like a Greek statue 100% of the time. It's just not realistic. And I think Chris Hemsworth does that. He is super duper into fitness. Like he's got his Centric app or whatever it's called. And if you just sort of search him and type in Chris Hemsworth gym or Chris Hemsworth whatever, you can find a bunch of interviews where he's very, very supportive of the fitness palace of love and the way that more people should embrace it and how sometimes Hollywood looks down upon it. But I just, as soon as I read that, I was like, man, I really hope people take advantage of that. And I really hope people take that to heart. And it doesn't drive you crazy because I've been there, especially when you're watching movies and you see it in motion. You then kind of think, oh man, I look terrible. I'm out of shape. I need to do this. I need to do that. And there's nothing wrong with getting inspired by this stuff. And there's nothing wrong with getting motivated and maybe even renewing your focus. But don't let it push you into a negative spiral where you think what you're doing 
doing in the gym is wrong because it's not. Even if you haven't achieved your dream physique, you're always on the way to getting it. Never forget that because even when you do get there, it's not going to be your dream physique anymore because you have it. It's like, why do you think millionaires and billionaires want more money? Because when you get a little bit of something, something, you want more of something, something because it makes you feel good. Then you kind of realize, man, I should have just been happy to begin with. I should have found a way to embrace me as me. But that's also an incredibly hard thing to do. So we don't need to worry about it. It's also over 4 million likes. Imagine that. You imagine we did anything that had over 4 million likes. If I ever do anything that has 4 million before it, I will give everyone a pound. And it only cost me 4 million pounds, but I'm going to assume if I've got 4 million likes that I'll be able to afford it. We'll go into the comments as well because it's always fun. Apparently it won't. Apparently we'll go to Marvel Studios because I have a stupid finger. And The Rock is there. Congrats, my brother. And look, while The Rock is here, this is another thing we can talk about. Boom. This picture did the rounds the other day as well. Where he said, late night training, big week for Black Adam shooting my champion scenes with my shirt off and showing my body. And he talks about his dieting. He's been playing around with sodium. He has basically got himself also into the best shape of his life probably so he can look like a superhero and as you can see him there i mean his quads especially are ridiculous they look like aliens are busting out of it it's exactly the same thing now the rock doesn't actually talk about the fact that he's obviously flexing his legs he just talks about hey man come and watch my movie this is why i enjoy it when people like chris hemsworth do get it out there because i like to think that once you have educated somebody in that sense you can then apply it to everybody else that you see so yeah the rock gets involved jemmy renner says congrats brother and of course he was hawkeye so there's a lot of marvel guys but i would like to get to the point where it's not blue ticks like i don't know who simulu is but he says i need to get in shape <laughs> and mick avic tremor says are you sure you're not flexing so that's he no so this is the problem the sarcasm has gone utterly over the heads but you know you could only do so much like you should be able to make jokes on the internet and uh, and that be there honzo says there's no way you're that buff how so it's already working and officer jerry says oh don't mind me i'm just patrolling this comment section so that's really weird and thor hemsworthy says okay he's huge and Tyzak says the revolution has begun. And there's just a lot of comments of people going absolutely nuts. And White Spade says juiced. And yeah, he probably is juiced, but he's still put in the work and he's still put in the time. And he's also, once more, just to underline it, gone out of his way, clearly not directly enough to say, I'm stood here and I am putting every single ounce of energy I have into this arm. And I'm sure whoever took the photo was going, move left, move right, oh, I can do this. And they worked it. It's all a work. Social media and the internet is a work. Do not let it have a negative effect on you. You can look like Chris Hemsworth, right? You can, to a certain point. So use that as the model that you put up on your wall. But then when you do get into it, ensure that you then veer off in your own direction because you're you. And you know, you don't have to compare yourself to someone like Mr. Hemsworth, who does seem like a good guy. You are just as important and I believe in you and your biceps. Now, please do leave a comment below and genuinely let me know what you think about all this. When you see guys in this kind of shape, what does it do to you? Because I think maybe getting it out there will help. I just noticed another comment there. WCT underscore I underscore B just says, Thor on them roids, man. <laughs> can't win you cannot win although he's probably taking something yes like the video share the video and subscribe hit the bell ding ding so you know what other videos going live there is another video over there please do give it a click again merchandise simon.bigcartel.com i will post something in the community feed to let you know they are there but keep an eye on it patreon.com for simon 316 if you want to support me that way and thank you to everybody that has signed up you help me no end you have no idea get the power 13 cookbook there's a link in the description below use the code simon 15 for 15 percent off come say hi on twitter and instagram at simon miller 316 otherwise have a good day Put yourself first because you are an amazing person and I'll see you on the next one.